thinking to myself that I should do this part of the vlog, like a voiceover, just show you what I'm doing. Then I thought to myself, I'm always judging other vloggers who say they can't come on camera because they look super crusty. <laughs> so I'm like, let me not be a hypocrite because that's one of my pet peeves. It's like number one on the list. I haven't showered, I'm still in my PJs. Um, well, this is not a PJ, this is one of my favorite uh, graphic teeth. It says Everyday California, but anyway, that's besides the point. I am going to be making some ribs in my slow cooker. Uh, one of the things that I'm thinking of getting is an instant pot. I don't know if there's a big difference between an instant pot and a slow cooker. I'm gonna look into that, but I'm really, I really want an instant pot. I, I always see a lot of people on YouTube right now using it and how easy and you know, effective it is. I'm um, like thinking, is it better than a slow cooker? I don't know. Well, it's instant, but, and the other one is a slow cooker, but you know, I don't know. So yeah, what I'm going to do basically is, I'm gonna have a layer of potatoes, broccoli, some mushroom, then on top of all that, I'm gonna put my ribs. So I have to wash them first. Let's do that so it's 20 past 2 right now and I have hmm, plus minus 6 hours for this to cook in the slow cooker and we normally get our ribs from Costco 92% of the time we get our ribs from Costco mm, most of the time my husband prefers to buy the ones that are um, already marinated but they are more expensive than the ones that you have to marinate yourself the ones that I'm cooking right now are the non marinated ones and I'm cooking them from frozen so I'm gonna wash them first Do you call these white skin or brown skin? Anyway, I'm using red and brown white skin potatoes. These are from the little potato company. We get these potatoes from Costco too. So I'm gonna just rinse them outside and put them into the crock pot they are going to be my bottom layer so the reason why i like doing that is the potatoes get to cook and the juices and the marinade of the ribs which makes them very nice and juicy and i'm gonna add a layer of um frozen broccoli on top of that and um, a layer of um, mushrooms I don't know if I should add the layer of mushrooms because they also kind of produce kind of a lot of water maybe I shouldn't I'll think on it I might even add some cherry tomatoes And probably if this is this hasn't cooked the way I like after four or five hours I might just finish the whole thing in the oven I might put it in the oven so yeah let me let my let me let my ribs sit in the water while I so they can fall more so I decided to add my little cherry tomatoes. These are the Angel Sweet um, Tomatoes from um, the brand Sunset. We also get these from Costco and a little eco bowl, a little uh, bigger than this. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to wash this and add them to the bottom of my crock pot. I like to marinate my potatoes because sometimes when I don't they don't get the salt that's from the um, ribs 
and they don't taste as delicious so I added some uh, some of these uh, this steak uh, the Keck Steakhouse um, seasoning we get this from Costco also yeah um, I added the oil so the the potato skins can crisp up towards the end of the cooking when the juices are starting to you know not dry out you know cook out yes there we go so on top of this I'm gonna add some my some of my frozen broccoli let's do that this is the broccoli I use the Vidania brand the broccoli florets from Costco you can find this from Costco I'm gonna season with my thyme um, what else is in here thyme lemon sea salt um, seasoning <laughs> um, I got these from winners I also have the uh, chili pepper and salt sea salt one so yeah this is how it looks before the cooking starts and these are the sauces I used on my ribs I had set up the timer for seven hours so now one hour and 17 minutes left and this is how it looks inside let me open the lid because right now it's 8 30 and we're going to eat this is how it looks i hope it tastes good most of this look at is um beef broth i used it um to cook the vegetables the reason why we're eating so late is because um we went to the y and afterwards we did a bit of gardening so let's eat good morning good morning why are all your jeans on the floor now why did you throw your jeans on the floor what why did you throw your jeans on the floor Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? How did you sleep? Did you sleep nicely? How did you sleep? How did you sleep? How did you sleep? Did you have a great night of sleep? Did you sleep nicely? Did you sleep nicely? Huh? Did you sleep nicely? You had a great sleep. But why are your jeans on the floor? Oh, mommy should open the window. Hmm? Should mommy open your window? Let's get your day started. Do you want to give mommy a hug? Yay! Let me go in for a hug then. So this is very typical of me. I've had this um, Vileda, Vileda, uh, what do they call this, promised mop thingy for like, I don't know, since we were in Chile because I bought it in Chile and I've never used it. So today is the day, it's Friday, the dishwasher is loaded and I'm going to try and clear up the mess because, yeah. The people I live with don't know what it means <laughs> to not make the floors dirty. It's like they're calling. Anyway, yeah. Let's see how it works. So it has these grippy Velcro things to attach your microfiber cloth to the swivel part of your mop. And this is where your water flask goes in and Basically, I have like uh, detergent in there, floor detergent. 